Hey guys, Mike here, Grinding Gears Garage. We just finished up a video doing the ring end gap. That is should be uploaded on the channel if you're watching this. Uh, now we're going to go over installing the rings on our new Wisco piston. There's a few little nuances we need to go over so you guys have your rings installed correctly. Placement uh, for the where they end up on the piston before you install them and a few other things. So pretty much you don't really need any tools. You already set the ring end gap. You should be ready to install your rings and then install your piston into your new or slightly used cylinder. So stay tuned. We'll go over this. Show you guys how to install the rings on your new piston. So we're going to start at the bottom. Uh, it's fairly easy with the piston oil ring. The biggest thing is you can see right here, the oil ring has a a zigzag shape pretty much uh, but you want to make sure it doesn't overlap you can see there they want it butted just like so you don't want it to be overlapped so we're going to install that and we're going to install our two oil rings if you notice on our compression and our second ring the there is a little N right there it's hard to see because the camera I can't focus it, but there's an N inscribed on the top of both of them. That letter always faces up. On the oil rings, the rails, there is no identification to put it up or down. Now on this, you do want to make sure that your two joints, let's see if I can get a good shot of that, are facing up like so. You do not want it the other way them facing down. You want the ends to be facing up. So we're going to pop that on real quick and clock it. Weisco gives us a nice little uh, chart here. So engine front on most four wheels would be your uh, <clears throat> exhaust port and they always give you an arrow here. Arrow always faces your exhaust or the front I should say. So we're going to set our piston like this in the direction that matches our chart. So when we ex install our rings, we can clock them the direction that they're supposed to go. So we have our pist our oil expander in. This one's fairly simple. Uh, it's going to stay in center line with the wrist pin. As you can see here, we got a little gap. I want to make sure we don't overlap them. Next, we're going to install our oil rails. You can see the top one is going to face about 11 o'clock and the one on the bottom is going to face about uh, 1 or 2. But this is 12 and the oil expander is at 6. One thing we like to keep on hand is a little pick. It helps us move the rings. So we have the oil expander <clears throat> in 6 o'clock. We have this one roughly at 1 o'clock. Now this is going to probably get messed up by the time you get ready to install it. So once we install the piston on the rod with our wrist pin and our uh, circ clips, we always check it before we actually stick the bore onto the piston. We just They don't have to be exact, but they need to be as close as possible. So we're going to install the other top rail, and you want this one around 11 o'clock on the piston. So we got our ring set for the oil rails and the expander. We're going to take our middle one, <clears throat> the second ring, and we're going to pop that on. These are slightly easier because there's only one ring, obviously. So we're just going to pop this on. And this one actually faces uh, to the exhaust valve here towards engine front. So I'm just going to set this down real quick. Mm -hmm. There we go. Popped right on, as you can see. Exhaust port. So we got it facing at, say, 9 o'clock. And now our top ring is going to face 
180 degrees opposite, which would be three o'clock. So we're just gonna go ahead and place that on here. Now, like I said, this is gonna probably get messed up by the time I go to install the cylinder, but at least going over orientation, it's gonna change probably per brand and manufacturer. So always check the placements from your piston manufacturer. So as you can see, we got our top ring installed at three o'clock, second ring at nine o'clock. You can't really see the oil expander. It's a little tiny. So that's how to install your rings. Now this is gonna change for four stroke, two stroke, two strokes obviously only have one or two rings depending on the brand. So that's how to do your four stroke. We're gonna go over two stroke here in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching guys. As always, please like, comment with any questions. We'll answer them the best we can and subscribe. Have a good one.